Hey, it's Justin. Um, I wanted to share with you this presentation I gave on the Agora copy call this morning. Uh, it's all about upsells and checkout pages, and I share uh, a couple split tests I ran recently for a client um, that all won, and uh, some pretty interesting results on these split tests. Um, like I said, I presented this on the Agora call this morning. There was like I think there was like 217 people on the call, which was pretty crazy. I've never seen that many people on there. Um, and the reaction I got from it was really, really good. Um, so I, I know I tend to really like uh, hands-on, like real examples like this, um, especially when you have an offer that like, if you have an offer that's working, you can just put these right into place. Um, if you have an offer that is kind of struggling and needs help, um, a lot of these will really help. Um, so you can kind of just copy them or it'll give you some good ideas for what's working in other businesses. Um, so let's dive in. I'll, uh, I'll share these a little context first though. Um, the three split tests I'm going to share with you, uh, they've all worked on at least three different funnels. Um, so this is not just like a one-off. Um, they've worked in health, survival, finance, personal development, dating, uh, slightly changed it in each niche, but the core idea for each of them uh, has worked. And the three I'm gonna share with you are recent ones I did for my client who's uh, in the health niche. So uh, that client does not want me sharing his actual pages or sharing his brand or anything like that, uh, which I'm fine with. So I actually made uh, little drawings of each thing that we actually did. Uh, and he said he's fine with me sharing that. So let's get to it. So the first one is a checkout page split test. And in my experience, checkout pages and upsells are probably the two areas where there's the most money left on the table by smart marketers. Um, there's a lot of stuff that works that I, I tend to do for these clients. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> ooh, sorry. So let me get back to that. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that works with checkout pages and upsells. And the majority of people just flat out aren't doing it. Um, a lot of that knowledge, as I said, comes from just running tons and tons of split tests. And when you see something work, like usually about three times, uh, it kind of becomes a new, that's the new way I do things. Um, so let's jump right into this one. So this was the, as you can see here, the one on the left, this was the current control, which was like a very stand, standard uh, order form that you'll see in direct response, uh, kind of borrowed from a lot of direct mail. So had the product name at the top, then it had a little thing where it was like, yes, Greg, I want to look better, feel younger, and move like I did 15 years ago. Uh, please send me how many bottles of blah, blah, blah. Then underneath there would be the order form uh to the side there was a little thing where they could check how many bottles they want one three or six there was a testimonial down here there was more stuff below it but uh, i didn't change any of the stuff below it so i'm not really uh gonna show that here's the uh alternative i came up with so i moved the offer part up here so one three six is where they they would choose um, and then i moved the order form up um so the order form is pretty much at the top of the page. Two testimonials down here. And then, like I said, the rest of the page was the same. So not really a big change, but it was a change. And as you can see, 13.6% uh, to 16.1% conversion rate, which is an 18% boost. Uh, pretty big boost there um, from, like I said, a pretty small change. Uh, so... This kind of shows just the power of little changes on the order form and uh, and what they can do. And kind of the takeaway from this is that you move, we move the order form above the fold. Uh, in my experience, moving the order form above the fold works every single time to boost conversions. Um, I've never been able to beat an order form that had the uh, a checkout page that had the order form above the fold. Uh, with something else uh, so yeah good way to boost conversions just move the order form above the fold um, 
I like having it on the right side. I've actually never tested it on the left side, so it might be something you want to test. Also, a couple of other things I'd know with checkout pages. So I just mentioned order form above the fold. Uh, as much proof and credibility above the fold as you can. Um, so when I talk about that, I mean like uh, phone numbers, security symbols, things like that. Uh, your branding. Uh, and that kind of ties in with the don't waste space with a big header on your checkout page. Uh, by header, I don't mean headline. I mean the actual like header of the page. Some people use like massive headers for like branding. Um, that takes up way too much valuable real estate. I would not do that on a checkout page. Um, another thing I keep in mind when I do checkout pages is you want to keep it as simple as possible. So I design a checkout page with basically my 85 year old grandma in mind and whether or not she'd be able to do it on her 2005 Dell computer. Um, that's kind of what you're shooting for, uh, as simple as possible. Um, another little tidbit. So the order form should always go straight down, never across. Um, so meaning like when you type in first name and then under that you type in last name, uh, that's how it should go, uh, straight down, not, first name on the left and uh, last name on the right. You never want people to have to go back and forth and then down as well. And kind of, I've gotten boost as high as 59% on an order form with like an hour or two of work. So that just kind of goes to show you like how much money is left in order forms. Um, and kind of the big takeaway here, nobody tests their order form enough. It's a lot easier to get a 30% lift on an order form than it is to get a 30% lift on a VSL. Um, getting that kind of bump on a VSL usually takes uh, a lot of writing and a new hook or it, it takes a lot. Um, and you can get it on an order form a lot simpler, especially if the order form is like straight out of the box and hasn't really been tested much. All right, so winning split test number two. So this one was an actual test I ran for my client in the health niche where we... Uh, tested the actual product we were selling on the first upsell. So here's a kind of a breakdown. So this was people who had bought just a, uh, a five, a five canister supplement or five bottle supplement. Um, and this was the first upsell they saw after it. So we did five more bottles, uh, at a discounted price at 29.95 each. That's the one on the left. In the middle, you saw we upgraded them to like a, a double sized version of what they just bought for nineteen ninety five uh, each, and then we also did a five month subscription offer where they would get the five more bottles shipped to them um, every four or five months for one hundred and forty nine dollars. Um, so I had a pretty good good idea which one was going to win here, um, and. The results pretty much spoke for themselves. So the one in the middle crushed, absolutely crushed. 42.3% um, conversion rate. And that was on uh, at 19.95 each. So pretty, uh, pretty good first upsell. Um, the first one did decent. Um, there was a lot more we could have done with it. Uh, I think I probably could have probably gotten that up closer to like 20% conversion rate with some more stuff um, but it was it was kind of more of a down and dirty upsell that we put together and just kind of put it out there uh, and as you can see the five month subscription offer which was actually his previous upsell was really really bad um, and that was obviously one of the reasons I wanted to wanted to change it so yeah um, this kind of shows the power of testing the offer um, and here's kind of the result. I had to actually bust out the conversion rate calculator because I couldn't figure this out in my head. <laughs> um, a 1,400% conversion rate boost. Pretty crazy. Um, his AO, client's AOV basically went through the roof. Um, so his upsell, which was pretty much non-existent before, is now kicking ass. And uh, he's able to scale the offer now in cold traffic. So... Major, major, major change uh, with just a, a big conversion boost on the on the first upsell for him. Kind of the one takeaway here too is that the product you're selling on the first upsell matters more than anything else. 
um, kind of funny story a couple months ago or about a month ago I I sent an email out about this to my list and uh, Tyler Bramlett who's a very very smart internet marketer um, emailed me back it was we were kind of discussing our, our upsell flows and how we do things and uh, he sent me a video of him explaining his upsell flow and I was about six minutes in the video and I just started laughing really hard because uh, I literally have almost the exact same process as him in regards to up, upsell flows and how I approach upsells. And uh, we had never talked about it. I had never seen any of his stuff. Um, so it was pretty funny to think that like two guys basically came up with the exact same uh, upsell strategy uh, on their own. Um, and one of the key points we both agree on is that your first upsell um, what, or sorry, what, what matters is that the product you're selling matters more than anything else. Um, so you have to get the offer right first and then you can test things like video buttons, price, all that kind of stuff. It's a big mistake. A lot of people make. So winning split test number three is upsell video length. So here we had three different lengths of video on, a, on an upsell. Uh, one was about two minutes, 45 seconds. One was about six minutes. One was about 14 minutes. Um, I had a pretty good idea which one was gonna win here as well. Uh, and I wound up being right. So here's the end results. First one converted at 12.3%. That was the control. Second one converted at 13.9%. And the winner converted at 17.1%, which wound up being a 39% boost. Um, I'll kind of break down what I did on each of these. So the first one, like I said, was very quick and to the point. Um, it just pitched the offer. There wasn't a whole lot to it. Uh, the middle one, that was about six minutes. I added an intro, so it was a better kind of segue from the uh, front end offer that they just bought. Um, and then I when I pitched it, there was a longer pitch and there was a lot more info about the offer. That's really the big difference there. Uh, and that obviously improved conversions, but the big winner was the 14 minute video, uh, where I really kind of went through and added all the, all the things you need in copy. So there was a longer intro that just like the other one where it segued from the front end purchase. Um, there was agitation, uh, there was a lot more benefits. Uh, I did a whole price justification thing. I did a whole thing with case studies and testimonials and proof of other buyers. Uh, the pitch was a lot longer. I went over the guarantee a good amount. And then there was the close, which was a real close. Uh, and as you can see, it paid off. So 39% boost in conversions, pretty damn good. Um, yeah, so 39% boost from extending the video. Kind of the big takeaway here, don't be afraid to write long copy on upsells. Uh, I actually learned this one the hard way. Um, obviously, we everybody who writes copy knows that long copy does better than short. But for some reason, I thought that upsells were different. Um, and when I started testing long copy on upsells, I, I quickly realized that long works better on upsells. Um, kind of another little tip here is to look at your upsells in a vacuum so do they have all the elements of good copy so is there a lead a good lead is there proof is there credibility is there a story is there a price justification justification is there a close um all the things we normally put into a front end offer on the copy do you have all those elements in the back end uh now i mean you're probably not going to make a 40 minute upsell but even if you're making a 15 minute upsell, uh, you can get all these elements in there. And as you can see from this split test, it really pays off. Um, so sorry, this was, this was actually for the Agora call, getting people to join the, my email list. Um, one thing I did mention on the call, so a couple things on the call. Um, what I just kind of shared with you were three recent split tests, like I said, I ran for clients. Um, that performed really well. Um, I'm going to be sharing a lot more of these at uh, my event in October that I'm putting on. Uh, so I literally just opened this up um, probably about a week and a half ago. If you're in the US, you probably got a direct mail package for me about it if you gave me your address when I reached out to you. 
Um, so it's all about, the event is all about beating your control. It's all about customer acquisition. Uh, I'm gonna really show you exactly what I do for clients when it comes to beating their control and keeping an offer running so that they can keep bringing in more customers. Um, so basically if you have an offer, if you have an offer that's lagging and it's not working as well as you want it to, um, or if you have an offer that used to work really well and it's like dying now and you're trying to like revive it, or if you're just like one of those people who always wants an edge and you want the best techniques and the best tactics, um, this is pretty much what this seminar is built for. Uh, this is a very high end seminar, so it's $25,000. Uh, it is not made for newbies. Um, it's pretty much the target audience is very successful uh, people with, let's say, info products, supplements, uh, physical products, coaching programs, stuff like that. Um, and then higher end copywriters who are doing this kind of work for clients. Um, so basically what I'm going to show you is I think I put in the sales letter, there's there's pretty much about 18 different what I call control beaters that have worked on at least three different funnels. They basically are like the norm for me now. Um, I use them all the time. Um, and I'm going to share all those with you. And then on top of that, the 15 people in the room are also going to get their whole entire funnel uh, broken down in front of the room. And I'm going to give you feedback on what I think you need to change. Uh, you're going to tell me what's what's working, what's not working. Uh, we'll figure out what you need to change. I'll give you specific suggestions on what to change. Um, and kind of one of the big benefits of this is that the 15 people in the room are going to be 15 very, very smart people. I mean, there's people from Agora coming. There are $60 million info product businesses coming. There's huge supplement companies coming. Uh, it is going to be a room packed full of smart people. Um, and you're going to get to see all of their stuff as well. So that's a huge benefit. Um, it's not very often you get to see inside a f working funnel of uh, another really, really smart person. So yeah, that's kind of what the event is. Like I said, it's 25 grand. And one of the cool things I'm offering is instead of just offering a 100% uh, money back guarantee like most people do, uh, I'm actually offering a 200% money back guarantee. So literally double your money back. And basically the reason for that is I'm going to give you uh, a couple things to implement uh, from the event. And if you implement those and you do not make at least an extra $100,000 to $10 million, uh, depending on the size of your business, um, then I will give you $50,000. So the event's 25 grand. If, if, if it doesn't live up to your expectations and you don't get the results after you put the stuff into, uh, into play, uh, I'm going to write you a check for 50 grand. So kind of a ballsy guarantee by me, but I'm okay with making it because like I said, this is literally the exact same stuff I'm doing for clients now. Um, so I know it works. Um, it's not really any, any big question to me whether or not it's going to work. Um, and like you said, I, I, the people I work with now pay me anywhere between 40 grand and about 150 grand. Um, to do the work for them so 25 grand is a a pretty uh pretty good deal considering that um yeah so the event is october 9th 10th and 11th in austin texas and uh if you want to come please shoot me an email uh justin goff at gmail.com the sales page for it will be up probably in the next day or so um i can uh, shoot that over to you if you're interested in reading the whole thing there's a lot more info on there um, yeah, so 15 seats available. Um, you can bring a, uh, someone from your team, um, for an extra $5,000. And if you can't make it for some reason, you can also send someone from your team that you trust. So yeah, that, that's kind of the event. Um, the event will not be recorded to be sold. I actually am going to record it so that people who are there have a copy. Um, but it's not going to be recorded to be sold. So I want to keep this small um, and I want to keep it, like I said, kind of more personal because I'm going to be breaking down each person's funnel. So, which is why I limited it to uh, 15 people. Yeah. So that's the event. If you're, if you're interested in going, um, my email is justingoff at gmail.com. And if you want to jump on a call or something, if you got any questions about it, 
Um, if you have my number, feel free to text me. If not, just email me and I'll, I'll shoot you my phone number then. Um, yeah, if you got any questions, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.